Gamma ray bursts are really bright flashes of light that come from outside of our galaxy. We actually detect several of these gamma ray bursts a week with satellites that NASA flies high above the Earth. So the neutron star mergers that produce kilonovae are one of the two ways that we actually think gamma ray bursts can be created. But actually, previous to this discovery, we thought that neutron star mergers could only create gamma ray bursts that last less than two seconds. Um, we thought that bursts with durations greater than two seconds could only come from the collapse of dying massive stars. I might be a little biased, but I think this gamma ray burst has lots and lots of interesting properties. So this gamma ray burst had a duration much longer than that two seconds I was talking about that has come from previous neutron star mergers. However, it had a lot of other properties like its x-ray counterpart that look like short GRBs. It also only happened about 1 billion light years from us, which believe it or not, is actually pretty close by. So we started to observe this gamma ray burst with the Gemini Observatory, and we were so excited to uncover evidence for a kilonova. And this breaks our long held gamma ray burst long short paradigm. So anytime that there's a, a gamma ray burst that happens, one of the first properties that we as astronomers look at is what's its duration. And so if it's a duration less than two seconds, we say that all of the past gamma ray bursts with less than two second durations have been from neutron star mergers. And anything with a duration greater than two seconds comes from the collapse of a massive star. And this one is so peculiar and so exciting because it's the first time that we found one with a duration much, much greater than two seconds, that actually we now have evidence that it comes from a neutron star merger. And so this paradigm, this GRB paradigm, we've had it for decades and decades. And so it's really exciting to see that the universe isn't fully figured out and we still have much to learn. Uh, it's always astounded me that uh, these photons are coming from billions of light years away. So this explosion happened a billion light years away in a far, far away galaxy. And when you take an image of it with your telescope and you reduce it and you get this, this beautiful image that there's an explosion happening and it fades just within a few days, it makes me so excited that these photons just arrived towards us and that we were able to see it and gamma ray burst astronomy, everything's happening on very short timescales. But when everything does go your way and you're able to find these really exciting, rare explosions, and you can look at that image and say, I'm the first one to see this crazy explosion happening so, so far away. It's just, it's so exciting to me.